Do you know what is responsible for 70% of deaths worldwide today? NCDs, or non-communicable diseases. Think chronic respiratory and cardiovascular diseases, cancer and diabetes, ones that are not transmissible from one person to another. They are caused by bad diets, unhealthy lifestyles, polluted environments and bad living conditions. As the numbers rise, this epidemic of NCDs threatens to overwhelm our health systems, our economies and millions of lives. What would our world be like in 20 years if we eradicated NCDs altogether? While there are things we can personally do, it would require a total rethink of our systems, of our relationship with nature and each other. In 2040, while yesterday's cities only responded to problems, today's cities are not just preventive, they are anticipatory. Peer-to-peer -peer data and health drones, powered by artificial intelligence systems, ensure the city is living and breathing, anticipating our health problems and sending early warning messages directly to your communication devices. This does not mean health power has shifted to city politicians, but that the city is a health friend, participating in your life journey. Nature has entered the city. There are parks, green buildings and wild reserves. The traffic jam is a thing of the past. Whole blocks, highways and hospitals are reclaimed and repurposed. All cars are now electric, but we prefer to walk, bike, take an electric bus or enjoy the views from a gondola. The city, if you choose to let it, helps you avoid areas that may be bad for you and helps you figure out best spots for meditation or prayer and the cleanest areas for a run or a bicycle ride. The city works with you to create your optimum health. Smoking and drinking is something our parents did. Today, we choose legal psychedelics with and without the hallucinogenic ride that can cure stress and depression at the click of a finger. Plant-based in vitro meat is the only meat available. Sure, you can have pizza three days in a row, but not without warning from your health device showing your current and projected cholesterol and blood sugar levels, even your genetic risk factors personalized to you. Your belt can detect obesity. Your bra can detect breast cancer. Your shoes can detect dementia. All clothes are wearable tech as standard. Instead of the fireman or the doctor as hero saving you, citizens are their own health heroes, using real-time data from the anticipatory city to ensure the health of people and planet thrives. Here's how it happened. In 2022, a combination of COVID-19, rising obesity rates and ensuing human and economic crises gave the impetus for decision makers across sectors to come together and take collective responsibility for NCDs. The human and economic costs of not doing so is too great to bear. In 2023, a few countries led the charge to remeasure their future, moving from GDP to well-being. Incentives were put in place that redirected entire industries towards health. From transportation, food and beverage to governance, health was at the top of the agenda for the first time. The results are so impressive that other countries followed suit. In 2024, UN agencies, governments, transport ministries, retail giants, manufacturers and citizens collaborated to design gondola projects in major cities around the world. This clean, quiet and affordable mode of transport quickly found its way into people's hearts. And soon, cities around the world are manufacturing their own. In 2025, COP30 achieved a global agreement to reduce temperatures by 3 degrees. A groundbreaking global study on the economic benefits of health spending is launched to the world, alongside a new and more radical global action plan on health promotion by the WHO, which sparks massive investment in prevention. In 2026, every government and corporate policy around the globe is assessed in terms of its impact on the health and well-being of current and future generations. Wave after wave of health innovations follow. In 2027, Big Pharma refocused its efforts on personalised medicine, corporate responsibility and peer-to-peer -peer global medical cooperatives. Patent regimes were relaxed so billions could enhance their life chances. In 2028, large pharma cooperatives that began in 2020 start taking off. Startups run by idealistic scientists with rapid information sharing led the way. Knowledge is shared. More and more understand that for each person to win at health, all must win. In 2029, driven by pro-health incentive structures and after years of testing, Big Alcohol unveils a range of alcohol-free products, including psychedelics and cannabis, promising humanity the best possible time with the least possible harm. 
In 2030, health and well-being forms the backbone of the new Sustainable Development Goals. There is a global treaty on alcohol control in place, and oil is no longer the dominant source of energy. By 2035, energy, like health, is decentralised. There is a new ecology of localised energy and health systems, but with integration through the anticipatory city. Breakthroughs by pharma cooperatives have meant that cheaper health products, vaccines, cures are available for all. Well-being by 2040 is the new measurement of health and wealth. The four P's, prosperity, people, planet and purpose have become the norm. Health becomes a true global human right. We do this by the fifth P, partnership. No one can predict the future, but we can all work together today to create the futures we wish for. Which future will you create? Let's move from my health to our health, from survival of the fittest to survival for all.